Hi, in this video we'd like to come back on the treatment of PCOS with an interesting topic today, which is the differential diagnosis of PCOS. Today we're talking about another specific condition that is commonly confused with PCOS because of how similar it presents itself, causing misdiagnosis, mistreatment, wasting time and money for these patients can be avoided. Now, to our years of experience in treating PCOS, we have realized that some doctors will confuse it with a pituitary tumor. Today's topic will be covering pituitary tumor PCOS differential diagnosis. We need to differentiate the two. So, a pituitary tumor grows on the pituitary gland, which is a pea sized gland directly in the brain below the hypothalamus. There's a posterior side and an anterior side. And this gland is very important in the regulation and secretion of several important bodily hormones and functions. This gland is very important and if there's any uh, effect, alteration in its function, it can definitely cause diseases and symptoms uh, to present itself. So for a pituitary gland tumor, it will be either growing on the surface or inside the gland and depending on the size, it can even exert pressure on nearby structures and also itself, causing the hormonal secretion and regulation to be much more different now. It will be high levels of these hormones instead of uh, being, them, being in a baseline normal level. So for PCOS, this condition is also a hormonal disorder, very similar to a pituitary tumour. What these two conditions share in common is that the symptoms are very similar. Let's go through them one by one. First of all, these patients usually do not have uh, regular periods or they have no periods at all. It's what we like to call amenorrhea. They also have ovulation disorders, which means there's no ovulation happening, which is also known as anovulation. These patients also will experience sudden or gradual weight gain that is unexplainable, usually is due to hormonal imbalance and also PCOS. These two share the same symptoms. Next off, they also experience unexplainable infertility, which both these conditions have. Next up, they also cause recurrent miscarriage for patients who do manage to get pregnant, but they cannot sustain the pregnancy for long. And they also lead to sexual dysfunction. So there might be uh, problems in the uh, sex drive or other functions of the reproductive system. Many of them share the same symptoms. So how does a good doctor differentiate these two to avoid patients going down the wrong path? Because many of our patients, they are actually PCOS patients, but they've been recommended pituitary tumor treatment or the other way around. They actually have a pituitary tumor, but they recommended PCOS medication. Um, the treatment outcome is ineffective. and They cannot achieve their fertility goals. So diagnosis is the key element in differentiating the two. Specifically, we want to use B ultrasound. If you use an ultrasound imaging on the ovaries, you can immediately see if you're a PCOS patient that there's multiple follicles developing simultaneously inside the ovaries both ovaries. You can actually observe this via imaging. As for a pituitary tumour, for differential diagnosis, you need to use a CT scan or an MRI and then you can actually clearly identify for up to 90% of patients, you can clearly identify an abnormal structure, what we call as an A adenoma. This can be identified via imaging. Next up, another important test is blood and urine tests to actually assess hormonal levels. A distinct difference is that for a pituitary tumour, you will see distinct high levels of prolactin, which is not present in PCOS. And for the other way around, for PCOS, you will see high levels of testosterone. These are all distinct characteristics of the disease and allows doctors to actually uh, differentiate between the two. This is very key. So, once the differentiation process is uh, completed, then we need to recommend patient the relevant treatments for a pituitary tumour because there is benign, you don't need to worry, it's not cancerous, it will not be uh, invasive and spreading, but the treatment is 
through a transnasal minimally invasive surgical procedure where it goes up the nose and directly removes the tumor. There are other alternative means as well, for example, radioactive uh, uh, approach where they use gamma rays to actually ablate the tumor, but there are side effects to that as well. So these treatments are not suitable for PCOS patients, but yet again, they sometimes are recommended. And for a PCOS patient here at the hospital, we uh, recommend the removal of the ovarian testicular tissue that is fused together abnormally within the ovaries. That is the core reason beside, behind PCOS. If you do that surgery, then the symptoms of PCOS, the fertility will be actually restored. You will actually recover very quickly. And these surgeries are actually sometimes wrongly recommended to the wrong patients. That is why differential diagnosis is very important. So for PCOS patients and pituitary tumor patients, you, although it may seem similar on the surface, there needs to be deeper levels of separation and differential conducted. Anta Hospital does offer effective PCOS treatment for any patient suffering from PCOS, regardless if it's happening for how long. We can actually guarantee that your menses cycle is restored upon completion of surgery and you can achieve natural pregnancy as well. Our years of expertise and experience, uh, please get in touch with us if you'd like to consult with us with your condition and if you'd like to arrange treatment with us here. So I hope you've learned something today in this video and if you'd like to find out more information please visit the website and leave me a comment down below.